it going, Mobile Esports fans? I am Sudden Death, back streaming the G Fuel competition. Hope you guys are having a great weekend thus far. We got some exciting matches today. First one will be USSR versus Team Euphoria. Should be an interesting one. Currently getting the match ready right now. We're actually going to bring the bracket in so you guys take a look at it. And I believe we're just about to go into it. We have about one more minute. We already have the teams in the lobby. We'll be starting on the Arid, playing on Arid, and we'll have Euphoria on the CT side, USSR on the T side. Should be an interesting match. Taking a look here, actually, some of the players. Got, got a new player on USSR. Somebody from Team Prime. We'll take a look at that a little later. But like I said, Euphoria versus USSR. Detour Mystic and Trigger Happy will be happening a little later on, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for stopping in. This is the GFO competition. A little mini event we're having with some of the best teams inside of Forward Assault. Once again, we're preparing the match right now, waiting for them to get ready. Guys, like we said, it is the G Fuel competition. You guys can use that code esports mobile to get 10% off anything at gfuel.com. Whatever it may be, you can use that code esports mobile to get 10% off anything at gfuel.com. Once again, that code esports mobile will get you 10% off anything at gfuel.com. Got some Christmas money you may want to spend. Definitely recommend checking out that strawberry shortcake flavor because it is amazing. Currently rocking the green apple as well. Green apple is a great, great flavor. I just like it. I like the green sour apple type flavor. It, it is just really good. It's not, it's not too sour. It's a little tart. But yeah, it is, it is just an excellent, excellent flavor. If I got to recommend two flavors, I'd say strawberry shortcake mixed with milk. Absolutely amazing. And then green apple. Green apple is just so good. And of course, golden apple pear as well is like you, you have st strawberry shortcake and green apple. And then like golden apple pear is just like right below it for me. Golden apple pear is really, really good too, but I think green apple might just be my, I don't know, I, I need to get both and compare side by side, but I think green apple might slightly be, be my favorite. Guys, how you doing today? How you doing? I hope you guys are having a, a good day thus far. Like, so we get into the match here in just a moment. USSR versus Team Euphoria. Waiting for the match to go down. We were just about to start. However, one player on, the, Bruno said he needed a quick second. So I think we're almost ready here. USSR is given the confirmation that they are ready. And uh, Euphoria has given the confirmation they are ready as well. Should we should be hopping into the match here in just one moment. Thank you guys so much for being patient. I'm giving the confirmation. I am good. There we go. I give my confirmation and we should be hopping into the match in just one moment, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've had the final reset come in and we are live. Let's go ahead and hop right into the match, guys. Here we go. If you need me to turn the game sound up or down, just let me know. I can oblige in that. Starting over here on the Euphoria side, a couple shots being fired down here towards the side of B House. Like I said, got a new player playing on the SSR side. Joel Gore from Team Prime it appears to have gone over here during the Christmas holidays and jumped over on the SSR team. Let's we'll see how he performs here for his Team USSR today. Interesting decision on his part. General Gross actually the first player to go down. Magic Gaza to find him with a frag grenade. Kuza coming in there. Excuse me. Bruno burns out. Chris Leonardo going to put down Fizzy. Keore? Uh, Keore? I'm going to call him KO. That's a new player here on the USSR side. Or maybe an alt account. I'm not quite sure. The Exo Clan tag. Martini finding a couple shots back there. What's his tech nine? Leonardo comes up putting down to KO. Last play left alive here is Richard. He's going to go down. Euphoria taking the first point up here. Well played by them. Cash advantage. Moving into round number two. We'll have to see how they use that, if it's effective or not. Check your mag and let's go. CT start off pretty aggressive, firing down there through CT doubles up to T spawn. Leonardo's gonna set up side and be storage. Martini's gonna strike first, finding shots there on General Gore, respectively. More shots coming in. Richard going down. Bruno finding shots on Richard. Skyline moving up. Gonna be looking around. It hasn't seen a player yet at all. Looking, looking, looking. Counter terrorist win. And Euphoria will be taking that round right there. 2 0. Cash advantage coming in handy for them in round number two. Checking the side of USSR. KO does able to pull out a foul. Throwing the bomb around. General Gore. Ooh, look at those. I like the gloves. Gloves looking good. Yes, that is correct. General Gore has joined USSR from Prime. 
Not a sub or anything. That would have been a crazy sub, just in case anybody was still confused at that matter. Euphoria sent up pretty hard now on the B side, entrenched in here. Smoke grenade isolating B house. The T's trying to figure out what they're going to do here. And a 4v4. KO looking down towards B storage. One CT player is up here with this over here on A side. We're going to have an altercation go down between them. General Gore does have bomb in hand. Leader Noter is putting down Chris. Martini is the man here on elbow. KO and Gore throwing grenades out. About to challenge these players here on B side. Goes out. Skyline puts down Gore. KO stays up. Picks up the bomb. Taking his time now. You know, there's probably about one to two players down there. He has put some smoke down there. Should give him some cover. About a minute left here on the clock. Martini has began to move down here towards CT Double Doors. And will begin to move up here to B site to reinforce his teammates. The remaining team player is right here. KO is going to get K'd out by Leonardo. Euphoria now leads 3-0 over USSR. Checking out the KDs on the board. Bruno 6-0. Leonardo 5-0. Check it over on the top two spots over on the USSR. KO, three and three. Richard, one and three. The remaining three USSR players struggling a little bit. Zero and three. Gore, Chris, and Fizzy. All fizzing out there with zero kills. They got a couple kills up here on the board. And we should see the score gap begin to close. This is the third round. This is typically what we're going to see if you had a team run three rows, three rounds in a row from flip or start of the match. This is typically when you're going to see the teams that has lost. Cash in their bank account, be able to buy the weapons, buy the Kevlar, buy the utilities they need. Probably see it go 3 to 1 here. If not, E4 it takes this round, it might end up going up to 5 5 0, 5 1 maybe, 6 0. Just typically how we see these matches go. If you don't get this, if you're on the down team side that is down and you don't get that fourth win, usually the team that is up by 3 is going to go at least up by 5. T's definitely taking their time here, feeling them out. Low on cash, a couple MP5Ks out. Fizzy gonna get tagged down there. KO's actually gonna drop down Skyline. Trade coming in from Leonardo. Richard trying to stay up. He is, somehow is able to do that. General Gore comes in, puts down Leonardo, actually keeping Richard alive. Richard will not be able to get that kill, but it'll be the assist. Bomb is gonna be planted here on top of B site. This is the first time Bomb has been able to get over to site. I don't know why Richard has not planted the bomb. Get the extra cash into your bank account. He's gonna get down there to the hands of Bruno. And that's it, General Gore gets blasted by Magic God there, and it's 4-0 Euphoria. I don't know why USSR did not plant the bomb. They should have planted the bomb. Planting the bomb would have given them a little bit extra cash to at least go into the next round with. And yes, I think it's only 300, but still 300. That can be very valuable when it comes to buying a frag or maybe buying a, just going up to a di different assault rifle or SMG. Interesting decision there by Rich not to do that. Obviously just felt they were CT players too close to him to do that. I think I still would have stuck it, though. Be interesting to hear what the comms are like right now. Whether everybody's confused at Richard why he wouldn't plant the bomb, or if they were telling him not to for some reason. Let's see what you think, chat. Round number five here. Trade coming in. We move on. There's another kill getting dropped. Trades. Two trades coming in. Richard finding M Martini there. Turn it, moving out here towards his A site. CT's beginning to rotate. Richard puts on magic. We got this. Could be the first round here for the T's of the players, right? Skyline found a couple players on the skyline. Puts down General Gore. Going for the other one up there. And he finds Richard. Unbelievable. It's a 1v1 right here. He's got to watch his back. There's one T player coming from behind. That's KO. He's got to try to KO Skyline. Skyline's got to look down. Not from the skyline, but actually. Well, what was that gun flying up in the air? Got to actually look down towards the ground. Keep his head off the skyline in order to find this kill. 1 3 left on the clock. Bomb is up here. That jump might have given KO away. Skyline taking his time. Here's him up here. I can definitely hear the footsteps. He should be able to hear him. He's going to see him, but he's going to lose the gunfight to KO. KO's got the better movement speed and puts him on the ground. It's 4-1 here. USSR putting the first point up on the board. A much needed round for USSR. Get that point on the board finally. And also some extra cash being invested into their bank account. And should begin to give them some good confidence here that they can take a round on Euphoria. Checking out the KDs once again. Bruno, 8 and 1. First time he died last round. Leonardo, 6 and 2. Magic got 5 and 3. Checking over here on the USSR side. KO, 5 and 4. Richard, 3 and 5. General Gore, 2 and 5. As you can see, a couple kills coming in there from the negative trio or the zero kill trio last round. Is able to get them point on the board. Euphoria. Not looking cocky. That is definitely a good thing to see. Gotta be feeling pretty confident though. 
Having already a couple rounds over top of them. Leonardo finding two kills. Unbelievable with the MP5K. KO's gonna drop out before we do more damage. He's gonna double up there with the foul. Magic God finds KO to Richard respectfully there. Doubled up with the AK-47. And now one player left alive on the T side. That's Fizzy. He's gonna try to Fizzy. We're getting three CT players out here. He's got a meta 18 to do it. Bomb is down over here on the B side. He's gonna have to work crazily in order to get that bomb. AK in hand. If I had wanted to have a weapon, to personally do this 3v1 clutch, I would like to have the AK. But of course, that is just me. Madruga, check it up here on the B site. Gonna hang behind B columns. Martin watching CT double doors. Gonna see him probably cross here. He's gotta be careful. Gets tagged on the 40 HP. He's not sure where he's at. Tags a couple hit markers on him. One more CT player coaching up. Fizzy's gonna phase out. Martini busting his glass, and he still got 55 seconds left on the clock to remain to eliminate these remaining two CT players. Bruno and Madruga beginning to come down to each other. Madruga is gonna watch this bomb here inside of B storage. If you're Fizzy, what are you thinking right now? You can move in here. Do you play for kills? Do you try to pick the bomb up? Once you pick that bomb up, he's got to make a mad dash over there towards the bomb site. He's going to get tagged by Bruno from the side, kind of side of balcony. Well played there. If he had just looked to his left, he might have been able to clutch that round up. 5 1 Euphoria leads by four here. Multiple two pieces last round. No knife kills thus far. Five one, so I got plenty of time here. You are on the T side of USSR, so that that is the advantage. You, you know, you will be flipping over to the CT side. However, that CT advantage, if you're down eleven to one, <laughs> it doesn't even matter at that point. You only need to get a couple points on the T side if you're Euphoria. You definitely want to try to put a few more points up here on the board if you're USSR. At least go maybe a down by two, a seven to five flip. Uh, at most, I'd say maybe by three or by four. Excuse me, an eight to four flip. Leonardo wins the first gunfight versus General Gore. Their teammate Martini comes from behind, put down Richard. Yosar decides it's best not to push towards Palace. Kale is going to try to win that gunfight versus Skyline, and he does. Creeping back up towards CT Double Doors. Bomb is down right outside of Palace exit, and we see one CT player just hitting on it hard. Not going to leave that down. Martini letting him know he is over here, firing a couple warning shots over there towards him. Fizzy now prowling around inside of B Storage. Probably has a good idea Magic you guys have been back here. He's been hanging out here for a while. He's got to be careful not to probably jump out through deck. That would be a losing gunfight. KO's going to find a Leonardo. Magic God puts down Fizzy. And KO's going to get KO'd by Magic God here by Big Columns. And now they lead by five. Six to one. Very impressive performance thus far by Team Euphoria. We talked about it over the past couple of weeks. Team Euphoria took a decent amount of time off in Season 2 and some in Season 1 to really to, to work, obviously, on their chemistry as a team. And it has definitely paid off as we've seen them put up some very, very impressive matches versus big teams. This one, of course, being USSR, leading them by 5. Of course, it's 5. We start early on here in the match. Anything could happen. But looking right now at Euphoria, they're looking very, very strong. Leonardo sees a player on his right side, gonna fire a couple warning shots, not gonna connect to anybody. Three up here by B House. Tees, I think they're taking too long to push towards the bomb site. I think they need to start getting towards the bomb site a little quicker, not taking time. Coming to B Storage, gonna tag one player down. Leonardo's actually gonna finish Jill off, but he was able to tag down Skyline to 7 HP. He comes in, Fizzy puts down Leonardo with a headshot. Skyline is gonna be pretty low as well. He's gonna come up here, peek around, sees a player that ops the backup. Op, bomb is down now. Magic got doubled up with the AK 47. It's a 4v2. Two T's left. Four CT's up. Grenade coming out. Skyline's going to get out by Fizzy, but Fizzy's going to get traded out by Bruno with that well-placed frag. And now, one player left alive here on the T side. That's Chris. Getting dropped there. Well played. Euphoria. 6-1 to one now. If I'm on the T side, this is what I think they need to do. They need to play a little more aggressively and move faster. They're taking too much time, allowing the CTs to get entrenched, and they're taking full advantage of it. They're all here inside a palace. One has already gone down. Trying to move up there quickly. Obviously, going to dodge the grenades, but only currently one CT player over here on A site. Of course, they don't know that. But push out there, play a little more aggressively, and probably come up here with the W. They're a little too gr closely grouped together. A frag grenade can do massive damage to them, but that's, that's the issue. They, they, they 
push kind of aggressively, but then they all hang up together. Martini tripled it up there. That might have actually been another kill. I think that was I mean, Madrigal with a frag grenade fetishing off there. I can't see because of the overlay. It was Madrigal fetishing off, maybe taking that quad feed away from Martini. As he's gonna sit back and sip his martini, then well played, leading by six now, seven to one. Euphoria looking almost unstoppable, dare I say. Check it out the KDs, and once again, Magic got 12 and three. A nice four KD coming in there. Kuza, or Bruno, excuse me, 11 and two, a little over a two KD. Leonardo, 10 and five. And we have had one player disconnect here on the USSR side. KO is on top of the scoreboard for his team at nine and eight. General Gore. Not putting up the best of performances he's had here. Two and nine, currently at the bottom of the leaderboard for his team. Chris joining back here in the lobby, and the op has been pulled out by Bruno. We unfortunately did not get that kill. We'll have to watch him next round as he does have the op pulled out. Got the season one champions gloves on. And let's see how he does here with this op. Eight to one, leading by seven. Euphoria once again looking unstoppable. The snowball is continuing to roll down the mountainside, and it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You need to try to shoot it. I have it explode. Or hit a tree. Whatever. Whatever. That bear camo. Rolling down Bear Mountain. Kuz is going to try to prevent that from happening. Does have the op in hand. Now taking Magic God's position back there by B Columns. Nice little switch up here. USSR, I can see they realize there's a sniper out. They got to be careful. They can't be pushing that B side too aggressively. Or leaving themselves exposed too long to have a nice sniper shot. Joel Gord's going to find a kill. Leonardo and Richard coming in. They also find a Magic God. Put him on the ground. It's a 5v3 situation. Currently made at 30 left on the clock. They're moving out here towards his B side. Gotta be careful. This could be a big opportunity here if you're the man. Bruno. To come up with the op kills. Op feeds our potential here. Couple no scopes coming in. He does come up with a no scope on Richard. Well played. They're gonna get tagged down to 67 HP. He's gonna jump up here with his pistol. Looking for a man. I cannot believe he came up with that no scope. Unbelievable. He gets dropped down to 19. Giving away his position. He's gonna look down, waiting for that smoke to clear and give him just a little bit of sight. It has given him, you cannot stick out if you're this T player. He does, KO somehow comes up with the kill on Bruno, and the bomb is now going down on the A site, and this is the USSR team that I know. Switching it up here, doing something a little different. Martini is going to find Fizzy, fizzing him out of the lobby, but the last player of his life is KO. He's got 3 HP, he's got to be incredibly careful. That bomb is sticking down, and Martini is going to take that run over here towards A site to defuse. There's going to be almost nothing KO can do here. He's trying to get over as quickly as possible. He might be able to come up with a kill on Skyline, but it's going to be almost impossible to find Martini as the bomb is planted behind B columns. We can see actually the bullets landing to the right of him, but he's not going to get that kill. Well played, Euphoria. Getting the round win, but USSR getting some extra cash. However, we're beginning to come close to the end of the sides. We'll be coming to the flip. USSR on the CT side. Euphoria will be on the T's, but again, you gotta put some points on the board. At, at this point, you gotta put some points on the board. At least make it 9 to 3. If you go into the flip, 11 to 1, this is almost a GG for Euphoria. A new move coming in from Martini moving up there. Chris is gonna take full advantage of it, landed a headshot on him. Man down early for the CTs, and the T's look like they got a little bit of life in them. Now they're pushing out here towards this B side. Gotta watch out to make sure nobody does have the snipers. Magic got watching A ramp, but little does he know, all the T's are currently over here by B. Grenade bouncing off the walls. Leonardo is going to push out, giving himself a little bit of cover. Going to find a player in the corner, going to drop by Chris there, respectively, tagging Chris up. Now, motion moving out here towards B site. One right by Truck. Shot being fired at Skyler. He's going to get traded out by KO. As a 4v2, two CTs left alive. Bomb's getting planted. And this is a big move from USSR. They need to get some points to the board. Fizzy's going to fizz out Bruno. And the last CT player left alive here is Magic Guy. He's got a 4v1 clutch situation here. Can he come up with it? We'll have to wait and see. He does have the AK in hand. You have nothing to lose here for him. This is good practice. Get a good amount of cash, and uh, he's going to get headshotted. But he is able to come up with a frag kill. Well placed there. Had a good idea where Fizzy was at. Come up with the kill. USSR gets the point on the board. 9-2. to two. We're one way around from away from the flip, ladies and gentlemen. At least, if you're USSR, you want to go to the flip 9-3. to three. That, that That is what you have to do right here. You have to win this round. You have a little bit of cash. You might as well just go all in. Pretty as much as you possibly can. And go into the flip. You're on the CT side, you have the CT advantage, and just hope that uh you can come up with something. Maybe Euphoria is getting a little tired. We have seen a couple new moves made last round. If that continues, this could be a good sign for USSR fans and the team of USSR. Favoring this B side once again. One player goes down. That's Leonardo. Three left now on the CT. He's about to push through the smoke. KO getting K'd up. He's gonna find a KO there on Skyland, though. Bomb is going to be now on top of B site. Chris putting down Bruno. And the last player left alive now on the CT side would be Madrigal. He's going to get dropped by the B columns. It's 9-3 to three going into the flip. Well played, USSR. Still down by 6. But again, if I had to be down, I'd rather be down by 6 than potentially by 10. 
which is what it's looking like. It was looking like a few rounds ago that it could go to the flip 11 to 1. You have to start saying that's not going to happen. Putting their foot down, at least putting a couple more points up there on the board, making it 3 to 9. Once again, on the CT side, all maps are slightly CT sided. We've talked about it in the past, but those of you, for those of you that may be joining us for the first time, essentially why all maps are CT sided is the T's have to come to the CT's. The CT's are looking to get swarmed. Now Martini comes in, find a frag kill, and also using the Tech 9. Richard back here in the back knows he, there's a swarm of T players on B site. Gonna try to bounce it off the wall with a frag. He's gonna get a kill there. Well played. General Girl also found a Martini trying to even up the body count board. 3 to 2 right now. Slight CT advantage, and that's been evened up 2-2 two two on the body count board. Now, the remaining team players of live is Skyline and Bruno. Bruno does it at the bomb, going to plant over on the A side, making sure nobody was coming. One CT player left is now Richard. That bomb has gone down. Rolls have switched. You will now see the CTs be the aggressors and the Ts the defenders. Again, once the bomb is implanted, the Ts are the defenders. All they have to do is sit on the head glitches, buy the bomb, and wait for the CT player or CT players, depending on how many are alive, to come to them. And that's what the CTs have to do before the bomb is planted. They just have to send the head glitches and wait for the T's to come to them. And that's why all maps are slightly CT sided. You have to wait for the T's to come to you. You set up on the right spots. I don't know why Richard isn't looking to his left. He's going to get dropped there by Bruno. A new move from Richard. Thinking there was a player over there on elbow. They faked him out. It's 10 to 3. Euphoria winning that crucial round since the flip. Getting them a little bit extra cash invested into their bank accounts. That's definitely going to be good for them and potentially. A good sign for them to win this round over USSR. Having that cash invested into your bank account early on like that allows you to do a couple of things. First off, you get the confidence. You win the round on the flip that you can play well on the T side. Plus, of course, you get the point on the board. And you get the extra cash and can buy a better gun. Maybe go for some more utilities. Whatever it may be your role for the round is. Before taking the time here, General Gore is going to strike first for the side of USSR. Richard coming in there with a the Tech 9, putting down Madriga. This could be a big round for USSR. If they're able to come up here and put this team down, stop them from getting another point on the board. Martini trying to stay up. Bruno finding Fizzy. Martini's got to be careful. He's going to get Fizz out of the lobby if he's not careful. KO finding Kuza. Last team play left alive here is Martini. Back here by Palace. Getting dropped down to 77 HP. Trying to stay up. One player coming from the bottom. He's connecting multiple hit markers on him. He's going to ultimately drop him, but again, it dropped himself by KO. 4 to 10, USSR is still down by 6, but that's a big round there for them. Even though you had the cash advantage on the Euphoria side, USSR coming in there, showing up, getting the W over them, not getting a little bit extra cash invested into your bank account, but also having some of those players wasted some of that extra cash they got from planting the bomb and getting the W over you, having bought the Kevlar and the AKs is big here. You might even force Euphoria into, into a full buy, or at least as close to a full buy as they possibly can do. Does seem to be late. most players are playing eco. Martini is just mean with those frag grenades. KO is going to respond with one of his own, though. General Gore jumping up here. Trying not to go down. Finds a shot there on Leonardo. Putting him on the ground. Two players up, up here on the B site. Bomb has been planted. We're going to see a swarm here. General Gore finds one. Skyline is going down. Last T player off the live is Martini. And he's been dropped by General Gore. Doubling up there with the foul. And he's going to get the, the bomb defuse. It's going to be 5 to 10 at USSR. Could we potentially see a comeback here, chat? Let us know in the comment section down below and what your prediction is for the match. You're three rounds away from taking the W if you're on the Euphoria side. You still have eight rounds. Make sure my math is correct there. Yes, eight rounds. <laughs> eight, eight rounds on the side of USSR in order to come back and take this match. Essentially, you have to have eight rounds with only two mess-ups. Those two mess-ups would be a point going on the board for Euphoria, only sticking with 12 points at the end of it. They're going to have to play very, very well here. But confidence is beginning to rise. You can definitely see just how these players are moving and how they're positioned. Richard's still moving a little sloppily, in my opinion. Going to throw a grenade out there. Got to be careful. Push pretty far up door towards Palace exit. Tees are all spread out, taking their time. Looking for that first pick. Try to find an opening on either one of the bomb sites. Skyline bounces a frag great right into two fizzy. I don't know where that came from. I didn't even see it. I'm sure he's saying the exact same thing. Richard, about to peek here. Potentially might hear these players creeping out on him. He does not. I don't know what he was doing. Magic Gossip going to put him down. KO is going to find Skyline. Now this A bomb site has been opened up and they're pushing out here quite aggressively. Magic Gossip going to throw a frag grenade. I'm going to watch the elbow side. General Gore puts down Bruno, respectively. He got his 
Coming up with another kill. Chris puts down magic. I'm not quite sure what was going on. General Gore double up with a foul. Chris also in the side of elbow putting him down. And the last T player up to live here has been able to plant the bomb. But can he defend? It is Martini. He's gonna try to find one. He gets tagged down 26 HP. And General Gore is gonna win that gunfight versus him. And they're gonna be able to defuse that bomb on the USSR side. It's gonna be six to ten, ladies and gentlemen. USSR is definitely mounting this comeback here. Bomb has been defused. They're only down by four now. The T's were looking. I don't know, I wouldn't say unsure of themselves, but a little cautious. Beginning to fear this USSR side just a little bit. No, they aren't completely out of this game. The CT side is a big deal. Just switching up, even, you know, sometimes seeing a team struggle on the CT side, being able to go to the T's. It, it, it's a reset. That's really what it is. Everybody gets reset, cash is gone, and this is where these comebacks come back from. I've seen them both happen on the T's and the CT sides. It's usually a, probably a little more prevalent or a little more likely to happen if you're on the T side, or the CT side, that is, switching from the T side to the CT, CT side. Switching my C's and T's out there. Too many letters, man. Once again, the T's are taking their time, and I think this is ultimately what's going to be the downfall of the T side. They're just taking too much time. They're playing way too charily, allowing the CT's to get set up on their sites. Making this big push through CT double doors. Chopping fighter to the left and right. Magic guys gonna find Fizzy. Fizzing out of the lobby. General Gora and Richard respectively gonna double up the Richard coming up with a nice three man. Trying to go for another one. You can call him Lord Farquad if he does. Leonardo puts on General Gora. Staying alive here for his T side. One CT player. Beginning to creep up on him. Gonna jump out there. Leonardo stays up putting down KO. And I believe that was Chris coming up with the final kill there on Leonardo. They're now down only by three. USSR is making this comeback. If you're a USSR fan, you gotta be feeling this. Make sure you ha type that hashtag comeback in the chat if you're excited for this potential comeback here. Of course, we cannot count Euphoria out just yet. Still plenty of time left. Checking out KDs. Definitely see these teams are working back. Fizzy's still 6 and 17, though. This match could change drastically if Fizzy starts getting a couple more kills. Really, I mean, if you were to start getting a couple more kills, one kill per round, this will easily be a USSR game. I'm, if, if everybody continues on the USSR side, performing the way they are, and Fizzy begins to get a couple more kills, I think this could easily be a USSR game. Fizzy's gone down multiple times early on. Kind of playing a little more aggressively, more up there on the front lines for his team, respectively. But, if he's able to stay up, tag a couple players, or maybe put one down or two, I think this could easily be a USSR game. Skyline down 9 to 14. Not quite as negative as Fizzy. But again, respectively, if he could get a couple more kills, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at your bottom fraggers. What necessarily are they doing? Skyline and Fizzy both respectively playing a little more aggressively. But they if they win a couple gunfights. It could tip the game either way. Martini has been shot big time this round. He's gonna get traded out by KO and Fizzy coming with our frag kill on Leonardo. That's exactly what we were talking about. Bruno. And I do believe that Skyline are the last T players left alive. 40 seconds on the clock. Bruno does have bomb in hand. Skyline's still teasing over here, and he's going to drop by KO. Bruno, respectively, putting down Chris. 34 seconds left on the clock. Richard just got a good idea where this player is. He's moving up A ramp. Going to watch Palace exit. He sees a player come out. He's going to get dropped by Bruno, respectively, though. Here's KO trying to KO him out of the match, and Bruno knows. Grenade coming down there. And he's going to get dropped by that grenade. Unbelievable. Bruno is somehow still alive and potentially could clutch this up. We have not seen a round win in a little while in four rounds from the side of Euphoria. This could be a big round here and maybe tip the side of the momentum back in their favor. And there he is. Bruno comes up with the kill on Fizzy. Fizzing him out of the lobby. It's now down by four for USSR. It's 11 to 7. Euphoria still has some life in them. Don't count them out yet, folks. There are two rounds down from taking the W over USSR. This match isn't as much of a walk in the park as it looked like in the beginning. You can definitely see that they have realized that and have adjusted their strats a little bit. They're definitely looking good now. Bruno pulling a USSR move that he pulled last round. One of the first times they got a point on the board was USSR. One player hit inside a palace and got the bomb planted down on the A side. Chris does not like Bruno's performance last round and puts him down pretty early on. Leonardo's going to respond on Fizzy. Multiple shots being fired towards his B side. Leonardo is set up now on side of B. I don't know if the CTs realize he's up here or not. Got to be careful. Reloading and moving around that quickly. Smoke is isolating here from the CT player. He hears him coming up on the truck. 
He's going to shoot multiple shots, but only connects in a couple. KO's going to drop on out of the lobby. It's a 3v2 here. Minute 20 left here on the clock. And round number 19. Everybody taking their time. This is exactly what you want to see from the CTs. No need to move too quickly. Chris is actually a little too pushed up, but he's watching this bomb. You see what he's swung player? Tags him up at this point. Exactly. Drop that smoke and back up. Reposition. Maybe even back up a little bit more. Got a minute left on the clock. He's going to throw this is amazing placement of frag. He might actually kill one. Headshot being landed on the skyline. He sees one come through and he comes up. He doubles up with the AK-47. Puts down Madruga. And it's now 11 to 8. Users are still keeping themselves in here. You're at this 11 point mark. You essentially have one more mistake you can make. You, you, it's really what you got right now. You have one more mistake that you can make on the USSR side. One more big mistake. You can make a couple small mistakes. Make have one player make a new move. But you gotta be careful. Once you get to that match point, that's when breathing starts getting really heavy on the side of the team that's down. Especially if you're gonna be down by four. Euphoria knows how they knows they can play versus USSR. They're looking good. They're looking confident. Player jumping in there. Might have been a new move on the side of Euphoria. And they're all just funneling into this B site. And they're getting dropped. Multiple USSR players up there on the core board. KO could double up the foul. Fizzy's going to look out. Not going to see a player on the side. He does. He switches over. Puts down Skyline. Luckily for him, he was planning the bomb where he might have gone down. And Fizzy is going to be able to defuse that bomb. And take the lead now. Down only by 2. 9-11 now. 11-9 on the scoreboard. USSR is still in this. This is definitely a close round. I thought it was not going to end up being this close. It was not looking like it was going to be this close. 8-4. to four. Continue to take that back. 9-19. Fizzy has gotten a couple more kills. Definitely helping his team out. And Skyline as well. Both the bottom fraggers here. Chris, I don't know if he would be bottom fragging because he had, did have the disconnect. I'm not counting him as a bottom fragger because he is positive. He's playing quite aggressive now. They give an exit in the palace side. Swarming in there. Like a bunch of hornets. Is that anything to come out or not? Leonardo waiting for that. I didn't realize that. Euphoria has lost a player. Martini disconnected and rejoining here. You're down a man here on the Euphoria side. Gotta be careful. Trying to play for picks. Skyline definitely taking his time. You're down a man versus USSR. You still up two points, but you gotta be careful. Play for picks. Try to get a couple players down. Skyline takes tagged down to 33 HP. It makes the good decision to just back up. No need to go down just yet. Again, down a man. You gotta play as well as you possibly can here. Down a man. Beginning to favor his B side. All their shots being fired over there towards the A side has begun allowing the USSR side to feel a little more confident pushing the A side. KO puts up Madruga. Is going to give a call out over there. That there's at least one T player there. Bruno with a brutal frag kill on KO. Now the CT's beginning to spread out once again. The T's are grouping up here inside of B storage. Shots being fired through B storage. Bomb is going to be planted here over in the corner. Bruno is currently watching his head truck. His headshot over here. He's going to go drop it. Richard comes around the corner. Chris puts down Leonardo. Last player left alive is Skyline. He's going to get dropped by General Gore. That's going to be a bomb defuse by USSR. And it's going to be 10 to 11 now. Euphoria is only up by one. This comeback is real right now, ladies and gentlemen. You're two points away on the side of Euphoria. Three away on the side of USSR. This match could be decided in the next three rounds. It easily could be. Might be a little longer. Maybe two. What is Euphoria going to do here? You're down a couple rounds, a little lower on cash. You gotta get some, you gotta get a decent gun in the hands of Martini. Showed up early for you, but he's been sipping those martinis maybe a little too long. He's gotten a little tipsy. Not performing as he was earlier. That could be a brutal kill from General Grove. That frag grenade goes off. He's not gonna get anybody. He's gonna attack a couple players up. He's gonna find Martinis. He comes out the door there. Bomb has a planted 4v4 on the body count board. General Grove's checking both of his corners. Gren Smoke grenade has isolated him off of B storage. One CD player coming in there. Might give a little bit of information to let him know he's now gonna be there. Chris doubled with the AK-47. General Grove comes out in the corner. Puts down Skyline. One TP left alive. He's coming from the back of B house. That's Bruno with a pistol in hand. He's gonna get dropped out of the match. And it's gonna be 11 to 11 as USSR ties it up here, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. USSR has come back. They were down 9-1 at one point, down by as much as 8, and has come back and tied it up. This could be a comeback win for them, whether it is or not an incredibly impressive performance on the side of USSR. It's just being they're able to come back and tie this round up. If you're Euphoria, you're beginning to breathe a little heavier. 
turning out the match with a barrage of fire down towards CT Double Doors. Now, beginning to move quite aggressively now towards this A site. A couple spreading out towards B as well. Once again, I think they need to commit to one site, which preferably I think would be the A site. They've hung out towards B a lot and just try to push out there. Maybe try to fake a couple grenades out as they do there. Maju got tagging up. Just wait for the grenades to come in. That's another thing you're seeing you for it. Not waiting for the grenades to come in. They're moving up. Get, a couple players get tagged by a grenade that comes in. Martini wins a crucial gunfight versus Chris, but they've also lost an extra player on the side of the T's. They're down one man. Most of them are over here towards the B site. There is one moving back up towards the A ramp side. Skyline has bomb in hand by underpass. Can easily move towards the mid, right, or left, depending on what he wants to do here. Depending on the call he gets from his team. Martini and his teammate both have taken A site. Trying to keep it. One player down in the corner. Martini firing a couple shots. Not have missed all of them actually thus far. Gonna have to reload. Interesting enough, Skyline beginning to move now towards A site. I don't know why he didn't go B. That would have been a big play there for Euphoria to just go B. Not feeling confidence. This is where this confidence comes in. You can just tell by this play here that Skyline decided not to go B. That his team decided for him to not go B. That they did not have enough confidence on him to potentially win the 1v1. That remaining player over on B site. Or maybe there would have been nobody get that bomb planted. Just little things like that. You can see the confidence is definitely lower on the side of Euphoria. Now you're a USSR. You read this like a book. You got a good idea where he's at. He's at 24 seconds. You're lower here. You go into the match point. He's most likely going to save. Do you push up? Do you just hang on the bomb sites? It looks like they're going to opt to just hang on the bomb sites. I might have had one player push up and just see. Check T spawn. Maybe go underpass just to see if he's hanging out there. Try to kill him. So he doesn't get to save the gun and move into the next round. But it's going to be match point for USSR. Unbelievable. Incredibly impressed thus far by USSR. New roster here, new player coming in. General Gort starting off negative, actually big time, was 0 and 3 in round number 4, but tw now 21 and 15 right below KO has come back and definitely shown why he should be on this USSR squad. Busy. 9 and 20. Again, struggling just a little bit, but does have a quite high ping. I'm not quite sure what's going on with his internet. Maybe should have asked Santa for a new Wi-Fi router. Euphoria knows his match point for USSR. Isolating CT double doors. Putting a smoke inside of B storage. CT's respond by putting a smoke right in front of B house. Definitely. This is going to be a slower round here. Waiting for the smokes to clear. Going to try to play for picks. One CT pushing in towards B storage. Got to be careful he doesn't... Expose himself by doing that. T player comes in, Leonardo winning that gunfight, but General Gore is going to finish Leonardo off. Grenade's coming back. Has given away his position. I don't know why General Gore moves into the grenade. Should have waited for the grenade to go off. Maybe potentially thought it rolled back farther than it actually did. Got to be careful. Those, those little mistakes like that is really what caused the USSR to be down 9-1. to one. And these little mistakes as well is what's causing Euphoria to have not won the round already. We've seen these just getting tagged by these grenades. Wait for the grenades to go off multiple times. That had happened. This could be a completely different story how this match has gone. Bruno creeping up now on B storage. He's got three teammates left. Going to throw a grenade back out there towards storage. Excuse me, through storage into deck. That's CT Blair coming in. Not seeing each other. Bruno's going to win the gunfight versus General Gork. Crucial gunfight there. He's jumping out. Got to play quite aggressively here. No need to... Shelter back there. Richard comes with a two-piece. They line up perfectly for him, and he puts him down, doubling up with the AK-47, and that's it. USSR wins it 13-11. to Unbelievable comeback here for USSR. Well played by them. An incredibly impressive performance coming in there. Down 9-1, to as I've said before, at one point. Coming back, tying it up, and winning 13-11. to Again, you had those little mistakes that were made early on for USSR. Just letting the grenades kill them lining themselves up for those two pieces and we saw euphoria do that on, on the flip that's what you had right there the last round richard being able to come up with both of those players general Gore and i believe it was no it wasn't leonardo i forget who, who the other player was but lining up perfectly for him i'm not sure why they did that it's a new move at the end of the day the small little things are what cost you the round ussr started off learned them starting off a little newbie some new moves made by them but correcting their moves the newbie moves and coming back with the w euphoria not winner from the mistakes of ussr and ultimately losing that round well played what a match in d chat what a match <laughs>